It's a building I've been in many times over the years. As a little kid, went to games here with my parents. I remember the biggest time of my life was when I got my actual season ticket. My mom used to come and drop me off every game, and that was such a big deal. Well, it's the same building, sort of, but the pit no longer is that bag-and-save warehouse that we've known for so many years. Now it's one of the top arenas in the country, inside and out, and we all want to take a look at it. So let's take a sneak peek with a guy who knows more about it, maybe, than anyone else. Head coach Steve Alford, you want to take us around a little yeah, bit? I'd love to. We're very prideful of this place, and uh, we're getting ready to move in, so uh, I'd love to show you the place. All right, let's take a look. What's really neat is I think what they've done with the new pit is they've given it a Hall of Fame feel. So in a couple of the corners in the pit now you have these kiosks out here where you can touch any part of the screen and then it'll bring up different things, either on the men's side, the women's side, different eras of your greatest moments. And for instance, like my favorite is the block at BYU. I think this is what's really cool that wasn't a part of the old pit. Do you remember the... The original pit just had the banners that hung all the way around the concourse. Right. And what's cool now is we've really given it a lot more history, and, and it's uh, obviously beautiful artwork, but people, I think you'll see them standing here reading about different eras. And as you go throughout the pit and make the big circle, you go through different Lobo history timelines. Now, we're still a couple of days away. Everything's finished except some cleaning and struck right. putting the baskets up and things like that but you can really get a good feel from here with these new video boards and there's two of those you guys kept the old scoreboards for a little nostalgia right. and I think the most impressive thing maybe of everything is this is still the pit That's, that, that was a, a big challenge uh, but one of the things we felt from our fans don't change the bowl uh, mm -hmm. you still see the bleachers which the fans were adamant about not taking the bleachers out of it, which is really a neat thing for me, Mark, because coming from Newcastle, my field house uh, that I played in, it's the largest high school field house in the world, it's all bleachers. And that's how you get more people in the building. So I'm glad we were able to keep that. All the cushion backs are still over here on this side. It's all red. The difference is now the bleachers are all red and silver. You can see how they've been all brand new capped. Uh, we just got as much red as, as we could anywhere. Our brand new baskets come uh, in a couple days, so the, before our first exhibition game, we'll have brand new goals in here. So it's uh, it's really taken on a great look. Bob King Court still Bob King Court. That I, I hope that's the part that that doesn't change. We've we've given it obviously a tremendous facelift, and this is going to be a, a great experience for our fans. A great great recruiting tool, but still your best tool, Mark. Win games on Bob King Court. I hope that doesn't change. Hey, so you're probably not going to be using this during the game, so. No. No. If, if I'm using this during the game, I've been ejected, so things aren't good. But, uh, you've got all kinds of uh, space as far as bringing in food and drinks and entertainment. And, you know, from, from our standpoint as a staff, you know, this is an area that uh, we may end up meeting as a staff after games just to kind of decompress before we get back into films and uh, get it going off the next, whoever the next opponent may be. This has been a, basically a two-year project and we've never had to move out for a game. We've played all of our home games here and we've never had to move out of our offices. I've never had one day out of my normal office setting right here at the pit. And so from a working environment and doing what we want to do, there was no disruption, which to me is amazing. Appreciate the uh, Thank tour. You. Thank you. Is that with all of this stuff, there is no chance UNM loses another game in the <laughs> in the history of the pit. Yeah, I wish that was the case. Uh, as good as the old pit was, we still lost occasionally. But I, I'll take 83, 84 percent home win record over the years. And this is, as you know, a very special place. And I think it just got a facelift that's made it, uh, I think, the best in the country. We appreciate the video tour. And on Sunday, we will have a special. 12-page section all about this place in the Albuquerque Journal. So we appreciate you taking the tour with us. Thanks. This has been Mark Smith for the Journal Online.